The editor render controls characters setting makes VS Code explicitly render ASCII control characters in your code. Now to see why these control characters can be a problem and why you might want to have them rendered, take a look at this JavaScript file, for example. So here we have what looks like a normal JavaScript file, um, but there is an error that is being highlighted here and it's saying invalid character. And if we actually go and we try to run this code as well, so let's use node test, you can see that there is an unexpected or invalid token here in our code. But to us, this looks like just a normal space. So what is go actually going on here? Now, if we go and actually look at this code, we would find that there is a control character here, but by default, VS Code will not render that. It will just show that as if it were a white space. So we can use the editor render controls character setting to change that. So I'm going to open up my settings with control comma or command comma, and then say render control character. And what the editor render control character setting here. You can see that the default is off, and I'm going to go turn this on. And now when I go back to my file here, you can see that sure enough, now there's this little bell indicator here that is showing up, and that is telling us that Sure enough, there is a ASCII control character, in this case, the ASCII bell uh, control character here that is in our, in our code. We can go in and actually replace that. And now we have properly formatted code. You can see no more errors. And if we actually try and go running this, we can get the correct output there. So that's a quick look at VS Code's editor render controls character setting. Control characters can often cause difficult to track down problems in your source code, and enabling this setting can make these problems a little bit easier to spot. You might want to consider turning this on if you're dealing with source code that is um, older, for example, or that is somehow gaining these control characters, um, maybe through some sort of automated process or something like that, because this can really save you a lot of time in identifying this type of problem related to control characters.